The face mask mandate in schools finally over. Well, today was the first day in almost two years that schools did not have to follow that mandate. News 4's Jeff Preval shows us how things went. From Niagara Falls to Hamburg, West Seneca to Alden, many school leaders tell us the first day without the mask mandate in two years went smoothly, with many no longer wearing masks, some deciding to keep them on. I think it's really cool to see, like, just to see everyone's face. Like, there's a few teachers that I didn't even know what the, like, the bottom half of their face looked like. For other students, they have to change their ways a little bit. Well, I was a little nervous coming into school this morning. Just, there are just things that I realized that, you know, I talk to myself under my mask a little bit here and there, and I'm just like, I can't do that anymore. Um, you know, I'll be listening to music and lip syncing, and I'm like, oh, I can't do that either. Alden superintendent says he has heard from parents who aren't in full support of the mask mandate being lifted. Everybody's got their rationale, and uh, I, I understand those that are fearful or concerned about where we are today, and that students are walking around without masks. Um. The reality is schools have been through a lot over the past two years, from shutdowns to remote and hybrid learning, back to full in-person learning. Our job is to really understand which children um, were impacted in which way, and then work with the teacher, work with the family to help that child through that challenge. And for some perspective, many high schoolers will have spent half their high school careers wearing a mask. Kindergartners don't know what school is without wearing a mask. And many schools have made it clear that there is to be no bullying of those who continue to decide to wear a mask. Jeff Perval, News 4.